everybody, welcome to mini beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In episode 9, we explored our news headlines data set by sending various search requests to Elasticsearch. And one of the ways we could search is by sending a query request to retrieve specific documents. Now, there are various queries that retrieve documents, and one of them is a match query. In today's episode, we'll cover how to fine-tune the precision or recall of search results that are retrieved by a match query. Now, we talked about precision and recall in Episode 7, so let's do a quick review. Now, when you search for something in a search bar, you expect to get relevant results fast. And there are two factors that determine which documents are included in the search results. These are precision and recall. And these factors are used to measure the relevance of your search. So precision and recall are inversely related. Precision wants all the retrieved results to be a perfect match to the query, even if it means returning less or no documents. Whereas recall focuses more on quantity. It wants to retrieve more results, even if the documents may not be a perfect match to the query. The dilemma is that we want to present the really relevant items, but we also want to retrieve as many results as possible. So these two factors are at odds with each other because if you want to improve precision, it might cause a decline in recall and vice versa. So when we're designing a search experience, it would be really nice to fine tune the precision or recall of the search results. And that is what we're going to learn today. Now, you can fine tune the precision and recall of your search by sending various requests to Elasticsearch and I've included these requests in a repo for you. To get to this repo, go to the link on the screen and this link is also in the description of this video. Now, once you get to the page, click on part two, then scroll down to the precision and recall section and have this pulled up in one window. Then load the Kibana console in a separate window. All right, let's get started. I have two windows open side by side. On the left, I have the Kibana console. On the right, I have the part two repo. Now I've already scrolled down to precision and recall section, then down to example. So in episode nine, we've explored the most popular terms in the entertainment category of news headlines data set. These terms consisted of Taylor Swift, the Kardashians, and others. Now, one of my guilty pleasure is watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So in this episode, we'll search for headlines about the Kardashians and fine tune the precision or recall of our search results. So let's start by looking up headlines that mention Khloe Kardashian and Kendall Jenner. To do so, I'm going to send this request here. So what you're saying is get search results from news headlines index. I want you to query all documents that match the following criteria. Query all documents that contain the search terms Chloe, Kardashian, Kendall, Jenner in the field headline. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Now, you'll see that we have a total of 926 documents that were retrieved. And if you look at the first document and look at its headline in line 28, you'll see all four search terms, Kendall, Jenner, Chloe, and Kardashian in the headline field. So this is pretty relevant. Let's look at the next one. Now, the next document has a search terms Kendall, Jenner, and Kardashian, but no Chloe. So close enough. Now let's see. Let's just look through all of these here. Okay, so this document has Kendall, Jenner, but has Courtney instead of Chloe Kardashian. Close, but not quite. If you look at the next one, now you'll see Nick Jonas and Kendall Jenner, but no Khloe Kardashian. So this 
isn't relevant to our query at all. Now, our search results returned a lot of headlines that mentioned some of these search terms, but these are not perfect match to the query. Well, why is that happening? Now, notice that our search query has multiple terms like Chloe, Kardashian, Kendall, or Jenner. And by default, the match query uses an OR logic. So with this query, a document is considered as a hit if it contains even one of these search terms in the headlines. Now earlier, we went over concepts of precision and recall. So this query would be better for improving recall. This is because our match query uses an OR logic by default. So if a document has at least one of these search terms, it's going to be a hit. Because of that, we get an increased number of loosely related hits. Therefore, this query has a high recall. Now, what if we wanted to increase precision instead? So let's scroll down to increasing precision section, then down to example. We can increase the precision of a match query by adding an AND operator. So if you look at the example, this is almost the identical query that we sent earlier, except that we added an operator parameter and set it equal to AND. And what this is saying is to only pull up documents that contain all of these search terms in the headline. So let's copy and paste that into the console and send it. Now, it, with the previous query, we got 926 results, but with this one, we only got one. So when you scroll down to the field headline, you'll see that all four search terms are included in the headline. Now, this is a perfect match, so we definitely improved our precision for sure. But it feels like with our first query, we widened our net too much, and we're getting a lot of loosely related search results. But with our second query, we were way too strict and got one match. So is there a way to land somewhere in between? And the answer is yes. So we could use the minimum should match parameter. So let's scroll down to that section. Now, this parameter allows you to specify the minimum number of terms a document should have to be included in the search results. And this gives you more control over fine-tuning precision and recall. So let's scroll down to the example. Now this is almost identical to the last query we just sent. We just replaced the parameter operator with parameter minimum should match and set it equal to three. So what we're saying here is for all the hits, at least three search terms must be included in the headlines. Now, of course, you could change this number however you see fit, but for our tutorial, let's just copy and paste this into the console and send it. Now, we got six results this time, so compared to our last query, we improved the recall. Now, if you look at documents, we got one here that mentions all four of the search terms. Now, we got another one here that mentions all four of the search terms as well. So we got at least two headlines that are precise matches to the query, so we improved our precision as well. So the minimum should match parameter is a way to narrow the net without being too strict. So this is a good parameter to use when you're fine tuning precision and recall of a match query. All right, we just covered how you could fine tune the precision or recall of your search. This content is an excerpt from the beginner's crash course to Elastic Stack part two. And part two is a full length workshop where I talk about the relevance of a search, how to add data to Elasticsearch, and how to explore your data set using the Kibana console. So if you prefer the full length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Search in Kibana.